man, that never gets old. Uh, all right, what is up, guys? Derek Hambeezy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm heading down to back down to Ducati at Santa Barbara to finish working on the Carbon S1000RR. If all goes well today, it should be completely back together and finally rideable. It won't be done yet. We still have a couple, um, you know, quite a bit of finishing touches to do, but um, we're going to be putting the front end all back together today. So the front fairing, the front turn signals, and the uh, front windscreen. So. Uh, I'm actually really, really excited because then the bike is going to look very, very close to being done. After that, it'll literally just be uh, the carbon engine case covers, the custom Louis Moto seat, and then like some bar end stuffs and, and like the mirrors and shit like that. So it's going to be very, very close, guys. And the good news about that is next month we will be choosing a winner for the uh, Carbon S1000 RR, and this bike is our next custom build series. Wait until you see what we're gonna do with this bike. Oh man, I just worked with the designer, uh, Greg Orescu, and uh, from Sylvania, and we came up with a badass design for this thing. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'll probably share it with the patrons probably later this week. Um, originally, I was gonna do just full carbon on this bike, and the patrons kind of pushed back and were like, no, we wanna see some color, and you know what? I agree. I, I think that we should do some color. It turned out awesome on the Carbon s 1000 R. so, um, you know, it makes the build stand out and uh, we can still use carbon, but we can paint it and oh man, it's going to be badass. So anyway, you can sign up to win both of these bikes over on the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. I'm going to enjoy my ride over to the Ducati shop and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. So I'm not really a person who complains very often, but what is up with the state of these roads? Like, look at this. This is terrible. You know how unsafe this is for a motorcyclist? If this shit gets wet. It's like ice, all these little snake strips. Like, what is going on? It's like we're living in a third world country. You know what? The whole country's shut down right now. P repave all the freaking roads. Fix our infrastructure. Like, I don't understand how this is America. It just blows my mind. Like, I was in Mexico and they had better roads than we do here. Like, how is that possible? I feel like we need to get our shit together. Anyway, end rant. Let's get to the Ducati shop. <laughs> All right, we have arrived. They are redoing the roof uh, out here on the shop. So if you hear lots of sounds, I apologize. Street Fighter is beautiful. I just showed uh, Rory and Preston the uh, rendering and they, they liked it a lot for what we're gonna do, the design. Right, Rory, you like the design? I actually do. It's badass, right? Yeah, hell yeah, it's gonna be sick, guys. Uh, let's go grab the uh, BMW. Like, look how cool this looks, guys. With Ducatis against the brick wall. <laughs> it's so freaking badass. BMW's chilling right here. Preston's opening up the front door for us. I like that they covered it for us. I appreciate that. Look at this thing, guys. Everybody's freaking out online. I'm glad you guys like the paint scheme. I think you're really gonna like the design for the uh, for the Ducati Street Fighter as well. Oh, look at that bad boy. Okay, so on the docket for today is the front carbon fiber fairing, the WRS uh, high windscreen, and then all the rest of the parts, oh, along with the uh, NRC uh, turn signals. But unfortunately, we realized when we were trying to test fit it in the last episode, um, you actually have to loosen these top fairings and kind of like flare them out. And in order to t flare these out, we actually have to remove everything we put on in the last episode. <laughs> I'm we thought, yeah, we thought that we could get it on there and we probably could but we don't want to risk breaking something and there's really long tabs here that you have to get to fit in correctly and the, really the issue is trying to get the front fairing to fit around this right here and we just don't want to we don't want to break it it's a classic example yeah at this point the easy way is what you think is a long way yeah 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 it's just a smart way to do it so that's kind of what we're doing right now uh, I'm gonna get all this well Rory's gonna get all this torn up back apart and then I'll show you what we're doing Okay, so belly panel is back off again, and then now we can use this to flex it so that we can allow this to move in as needed. Um, he's gonna actually zip tie the turn signals in place, 
Um, that way we can kind of semi route the wires and that way when we cover them up we don't have to try and mess with them when they're underneath the uh, fairing, front fairing. So that's what's going on right now and uh, hopefully this won't be too much of a bitch but I could see it being a little bit tedious. All right. Yeah. But these are the ones that actually make the bike legal. The other turn signals are just extra ones. You can't have just these. You have to have them up here. So we're doubling it up. People are gonna be able to see us. I don't think anyone could miss a full carp and BMW anyway on the road, but just in case they do, double the turn signals. All right, we just got the uh, things zip tied on, routing the wires a little bit here, plugging them in. I guess we should maybe test them too. Let's just make sure. Let's see. Now that uh, warning should be gone since we have front turn signals. Uh, oh, yeah. Left one, hey, there you go. They work together. Look at that. Oh, fuck yeah. What do you know, guys? That looks really cool. And then the right one, let's see, I'll yeah. come around here. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Damn, they're bright as shit. Those are super bright. And look, they even flash together. That's perfect. Yeah, cool. cool. All right. Okay, so what we actually have to do is assemble this first. And then when it's all together, you put it, Basically, you put the whole thing back on, kind of like a race bike. So that's what we're gonna have to do right now. I'm gonna have to help him, so I'm not sure how much of this we can show. So, so it, as it turns out, I was actually wrong um, about how you put them on. You actually have to kind of come from the inside. You don't flare them out because of those. That lip yep, there. Exactly, because of the lip right there. So now, it's a, <laughs> look at this. Now we have to put it all on together as one piece. And then at the same time, we also have to connect the connectors on the inside. It's kind of a bit of a bitch, but we'll see how it goes. And then one other thing we have to do right now is um, put on the windscreen. Well nut. Well nuts, thank you. And he's gonna do them this way. Uh, you, can, you can push them through the other way, but I think it's just a little bit more of a hassle. It's still a hassle either way, as you can see. But he's got it greased up and he's gonna pull it up through and that's what will allow us to attach the windscreen with the uh, bolts. Okay, now we're sliding the whole thing on in one piece. Preston came out to help so I could film. He's just plugging in the Rondell turn signals. And then I believe we can just continue to slide this whole thing on. It's kind of like a giant race fairing. Yeah, well, it's just ridiculous. Actually, I'm gonna give him a hand. Okay, so it's on. It's not obviously tightened down and everything, but look how freaking sick that looks. Holy shit. So. Now we gotta basically redo some fairing bolts and stuff like that. We gotta put on the, actually we'll probably do the turn signals first, huh? Yep. So we have some flexing, flexion, flexing action. But oh my God, guys, that is, that is sick. So we assembly, assembled the uh, mirror block off plates. They got some spacers and stuff that gotta go in there. Now it slides all the way through everything and then this is what holds on the turn signal. Again, I apologize for the craziness around here, but hey, the shop's getting redone, so I'm not gonna complain about it. All right, left side block off going on. How's it feel, Rory? Perfect. Like I said, we're not going to tighten anything. Yeah. These two. Yeah. We're just going to get them in two. position. Oh so yeah, 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 yeah. I see. You hear me then, not? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we wiped down the front fairing. We can now put on the center piece, and this is kind of like the uh, the cherry on top because once this is on, it's pretty unsafe to take it back off because it's very easy to break those tabs off. So this is kind of like a moment of. Moment of truth right here. <laughs> Don't break it, Rory. Hey, nice. Karate chop. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That was so sick. Now we can put the windscreen on. So I actually just chatted on the phone with Manny. Uh, I told him we ran out of tie bolts. So he's actually going to send us four titanium bolts for this. Um, whenever he sends us the uh, bar end adapters and the um, <clears throat> case covers for those, which are all going out tomorrow. So we will replace, yeah, we're gonna do red ones instead. <laughs> now we'll replace all these bolts, but for now we wanna get this on so that it's technically rideable, and then uh, we'll go from there. Also, I know when we did the test fitting, there were some people who were complaining about the windscreen saying it didn't look good. Well, there's a couple of reasons why we went with this windscreen. One, um, it's basically unbreakable, so people have put these on the ground and stood on top of them and jumped up and down and everything, and they won't shatter, which is important when you're riding and racing or if you crash, something like that. Um, also, they are, it's a double bubble screen and one of the things I complained about with this bike is you really couldn't get away from the wind on the highway or especially if you're on a track racing, you gotta be able to tuck in behind the windscreen. So this is one of the best performance windscreens you can get. Not everything is just for looks on a bike. Sometimes you gotta do things that are 
um, usable as well and and for and you know perform a function so that's why we went with this one i personally think it looks fantastic as well the light smoke along with the carbon i think it looks freaking awesome but hey you know everybody's a critic bottom line is when you're riding it it's better so we actually found some tie bolts that we were able to use for the bottom so we'll just have to replace the top ones once uh the next package arrives but man that looks good dude well, I hope we that. that is incredible yeah look at that i actually really like that windscreen that is beautiful because I know it's going to be so much better than the stock one. Okay, so now we can finally reassemble this bike for the last time. We've had practice. Yeah, we've done it a few times. Christina's actually on her way too. She wanted to see the bike. She hasn't seen it uh, with the paint, the colors and all that. So uh, we'll get her reaction and uh, I'm really, really excited. It should be rideable after this. Look who just casually pulls up in the, uh, the C8. Batman edition. She's getting her back worked on. How was it? Good. Yeah? Is your back getting a little better? It's getting a lot better. Finally. Yeah, he said it looked really good. Thank God. You look really good too. <laughs> oh God. You. you haven't seen the bike yet. I've not, no. Okay, well, we're almost. Is the front end on? Yeah, it's on. Come look at it. Oh. Alright, teens, what do you think? Wow. <laughs> looks pretty, pretty insane, right? It looks. <laughs> so much better now the front end's on. I know, I'm so excited. That See blue the blue just popped. Yeah, and the turn signals are tucked oh, in. Nice. Right? Look at the nice windscreen. Wait, so you have turn signals here and here? Uh huh. Watch. Can I turn this on, Roy? Yeah. You want to hit the turn signal? See, it's a running light, just like those. Hit the uh, left one. There you go. Look at that. Wow. How cool is that? They go together. So, how can you do two? Um, because this one's not legal by oh, itself. Okay. So these are the ones that make it legal, and then this is an extra one just for looks. Did you like looks. tape it there? Is that no, it's right it's um, double sided taped along oh, with silicone. Here. Oh no, that one that one has screws that hold it in. That's so cool. Yeah, isn't that freaking badass? Oh, that the Razor Guard looks so nice. I there. know, and you see all the tie bolts. That's so beautiful. Isn't it insane? That's really nice. Oh my god, I love the LED light. Uh huh. That's really cool. I that's my favorite part right I there. I know. It just makes it look really trick. It's just an extra little touch. Uh huh. And night, that's gonna be really cool. It is. Badass, ride right? It? Huh? Can I ride it? Yes. Just no. Wait, can't you can't ride, ride it. Around. Well, you're getting a V2, so you uh, better. I, I thought it was supposed to be a surprise. Oh, never mind. Cut. Let's go, strong boy. Where are those muscles? <laughs> Whatever. Let's get this out in the sun. Teens is gonna wipe it down. That's all I'm good for, we'll huh? Take some photos. Just we'll wiping photos stuff too. down. <laughs> Let's be real, it's a woman, right? Cleaning, <laughs> cooking, look, cooking, looking good. <laughs> totally joking. Or are you? Look at this thing, dude. What do you think, Tina? Looks like a beast. Yeah? You like it? Oh, I like that BMW glow. Yeah, I do too. Now, there's even a titanium bolt right here. Look how cool it looks with the blue wall behind it. That's freaking sick. So Teens is gonna wipe it down for us. It's a freaking fingerprint, fingerprint magnet. Feels good to ride that thing around. I cannot wait to actually take it out in the next episode once we do the uh, custom Louis Moto seat cover. That's gonna look awesome. And then, like I said, we just have the bar ends, uh, the carbon case covers, the carbon kickstand and then some titanium bolts and that's it. Then we'll weigh this bad boy, do a walk around, talk about the cost of the build, all the parts that we put on it, and uh, that'll be good. Um, one thing, I was talking to Ducati Santa Barbara today and they said that shop actually will not be ready to open next month. So I don't think we'll be able to do our giveaway here next month. So I'll have to ask the patrons what they wanna do. If they wanna wait until July for me to choose a winner or if we, they just want us to do like a little get together here with us and some friends and we can choose a winner in the back of the shop so um, I'll have to ask them and see what they say I'd imagine they probably want me to pick it sooner and then we can still do a uh, get together once the shop uh, do a grand re uh, reopening and have everybody come up anyway um, but yeah that's what's going on again if you guys want to be entered to win this bike don't forget you can still support for a chance to win uh, over on the patreon page alongside the uh, Street Fighter as well and uh, Man, it's amazing. The link to the Patreon page is always in the description below. I am so happy with how this bike turned out, man. It looks so good. 
But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Give Tina Wieners a thumbs up. Also a thumbs up for Rory. And uh, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.